So I'm standing in front of the monument to the 54th uh, Massachusetts Volunteer Infantry, or the Robert Gould Shaw Memorial here in Boston, Massachusetts. This is a monument to the first black regiment uh, that was raised uh, in early 1863 following Lincoln's uh, issuance of the Emancipation Proclamation. It's the brainchild of Governor uh, John Andrew, who from the beginning of the war pressed Abraham Lincoln and the rest of the government to recruit black soldiers for the Union war effort. Uh, of course, uh, Lincoln refused to do so until uh, early 1863, and uh, with the go-ahead, uh, Governor Andrew commenced with the raising of the 54th, as well as the 55th and the 5th Massachusetts Cavalry. Uh, all three of them were all black regiments. Most of the men that served in the 54th and the 55th uh, actually came from outside of Massachusetts. These were free black men uh, raised in other northern states. The reason for that, there are a number of reasons. Uh, first, uh, there, there were actually relatively few black or free blacks uh, in Boston, in Massachusetts, that could fill up the ranks. Many African Americans here uh, in the free black community in Boston were suspicious uh, of a war effort that up until now had refused to uh, recruit them as soldiers. By the spring of 1863, uh, the 54th Massachusetts uh, was sent off down to South Carolina, uh, off of the sea islands of South Carolina and Georgia. Uh, they first made their way to Beaufort, South Carolina, uh, and it, by June, early July of 1863, had taken part uh, in a number of engagements on James Island, uh, of course, the famous uh, raid and burning of Darien, Georgia. But its claim to fame comes on July 18, 1863, with the storming of Battery Wagner, just outside of Charleston, South Carolina. In this failed assault, uh, the commander, Robert Gould Shaw, was killed, uh, along with roughly 40% of the attacking force. So for many viewers, uh, the, the monument behind me conjures up uh, perhaps memories of the movie Glory, which was released in 1989. Very successful movie starring uh, Matthew Broderick and Denzel Washington and, and Morgan Freeman, which told the story of the 54th Massachusetts. In my mind, it's still one of the best Civil War movies out there, but like any Hollywood movie, uh, it does play loose at times with the actual history. There are a couple points, I guess, that should be noted here. I think most importantly, uh, the movie Glory uh, focuses on uh, a sort of a small group of fugitive slaves uh, that served in the, in the 54th Massachusetts. And while there were certainly a, a small number of former slaves who managed to get into uh, this first black regiment, the vast majority of these men uh, were free blacks born in northern states uh, who were recruited in early 1863 to serve in this regiment. Uh, so that's one example. I think another example uh, has to do with the pay crisis uh, that the movie briefly alludes to uh, as the unit is uh, coming together in training. Uh, there's a famous moment where Colonel Shaw tears up his pay voucher in protest over the unequal pay that black soldiers uh, would receive from the federal government. That was certainly the case. Uh, but what the movie sort of leaves out is that even after its failed assault at Battery Wagner, uh, for the next uh, close to a year, uh, up until June 1864, the 54th Massachusetts and many other black regiments protested the unequal pay. They refused to accept uh, the unequal pay from the federal government. And for the units raised here in Massachusetts, they even refused uh, payment from the governor himself who wanted to make up the difference. I think it's safe to say that Glory uh, put these men back on the historical map. And certainly it's the case uh, that when most Americans, when they think of black soldiers or black Union soldiers in the Civil War, they think of the 54th Massachusetts. And that, of course, is now serving as a springboard for research into other black regiments that may not have uh, experienced the war in the same way as these men from Boston did.